Notion is changing the way we manage our studio work. We've set it up in the best way possible and have stopped using at least five other apps and services, moving their functions to Notion which does it better and more efficiently. Of course, an app is just a mirror of your processes, whether it's for an individual or a studio. So if you need specific information about creating these processes, how to manage tasks, how to meet deadlines, and how to stay in touch with clients, we'll make a video about it. But today's video is just a simple overview of how we use Notion in our agency. So the main categories of Notion in our case are 1. Project Management and Accounting 2. Information Center 3. Education Tracking Notion is great as a project management tool. It has much more flexibility than tools like Trello, but is still much easier to use than giants like Jira. I've worked with many PM tools and have always been on the lookout for something better. In Notion, I have enough flexibility to make room for improvements when something changes in our processes. In every case, we have individual settings. For example, in our studio, the main focus is on designers and the main view is the timeline. For this channel, we use a simple table with an CO score and my personal interest score. I also have one big picture page with all my current projects, highlighting how many hours per day on average I spend on each project. This helps me avoid overworking and burnout. In another project, our bar, we use a timeline but with dependencies and sub-items. That's why I think Notion's public templates are useful. If you're interested in detailed tutorials on how I set up my spaces, please leave a comment about it. Next, the Information Center. The main reason we moved from Google Docs is because of typography. In Notion, you have a very limited choice of fonts, headline levels, colors, and highlighters. But all of them look good together. Notion is a very design-driven product, and I'm sure if you're a designer, it's important to have an aesthetic around you, using nice design on your computer, phone, apps, and services, and having a good table setup. That's why I love storing information in Notion. And lastly, education tracking, which I'll show you later because we've just started a new season of education for our designers and we'll be recreating the tracking process. As I said before, Notion, like any tool, must be flexible and your processes come first. More about our experience of becoming a studio and making our processes can be found in this video.